Hi there, welcome to some DIY, my name is Ben. In this video we're checking out the Neo Ruler Go from Hozo Design. Okay, so I've seen a few videos on Instagram and YouTube of this product, which is the Neo Ruler Go from the company called Hozo Design. So it's a digital electronic uh, kind of measuring tool um, that's got a laser built in and can do measuring of multiple devices, multiple surfaces, multiple uh, kind of shapes as well, which is really key, um, all built into this intelligent ruler. Uh, so I've been sent the premium combo set, which has all these in the box, which is the Neo Ruler Go, the Neo Pen Case, Lever Case, Neo Pen, the stand um, with some replaceable nibs and a type C to USB cable. So in this video, we're gonna kind of do the first initial video. I'll do a mini kind of series on the tool itself. But what we'll do is we'll unbox it, try it out on the, in the studio in here. We'll measure some stuff in here. Maybe some uh, stuff around kind of a rounded surface on that lampshade, uh, just so we can see what it does. And I'll show you what you get included in the premium combo set. So first of all, on the desk here, we'll just unbox it, see what we get, see what the quality is like. Um, and we'll just kind of give a first impression view on what it's like. So down here on the desk, I'll get a couple of angles set up and we'll unbox. Okay, we go the front angle here and I've got the secondary camera just over here just to give you a bit of a different view and close up of what's inside the box. So nice, simple design, single box with an image of the product on the front, looks really cool. Uh, Hozo Design uh, is the company name. So we'll take the open up the box and see what we get. Okay, so really smart packaging. You've got an image of each of the actual products there. So look to that camera so you can see a little bit closer. I'll do it up to that one. So it's really clear what's what in the box. Uh, you've got the actual Neo ruler itself, bang in the middle there, and all the accessories dotted around. I like that, it's quite cool. So we'll get these out of the box, one by one. That is everything in the box. So, so far so good, liking the packaging, nice unboxing uh, kind of experience, which is great. Um, so that's all the all everything there included inside the box. So what we'll do is let me get the cap, the actual uh, ruler itself out first. So we'll just open these up and have a look inside. Okay, so first up, the actual main unit itself, the Neo ruler. So there's a quick start guide there. Uh, we've got the ruler itself there, or the ruler tool. Couple of bits here for accessories by the looks of it. Let's just open these up. Okay, so that there is some kind of rubber ring by the looks of it and then in this side here we've got the type u uh, the type a usb cable to type c and i imagine that's for charging the actual device itself okay next up is this which says it's the neo pen case for the neo ruler go in the box we've got the actual case unit a kind of mini pen and a couple of uh, nibs for the pen by the looks of it so let's get into this one and have a look again some good packaging i can look of it it looks good so that's the case unit case itself Oops, there's one of the pens on the mini pen, and there's two of the nibs for the pen there. Okay, so they are a metal threaded screw. Which screws into the end of there. Okay, so that's that one there. Got the spare one there. I'm not sure if you've got somewhere where you can store that, perhaps. Okay, so that's the case. And that's everything in the box with that one. Okay, next up, we have got the Neo Pen set. So this is the actual full-size pen. Um, so we'll get that out there. So similar kind of, well, the exact same build as the mini one, but it's obviously a lot bigger. Um, I don't think, oh yeah, we should we should have two nibs in here as well. There we go, got two nibs in there. So we'll just store them over there for now. Okay, next up is this, and this is what I like the look of this. So this is a leather case, a brown one for the actual ruler. So you can carry this around, you carry this around potentially on your key ring um, if, you, if you're measuring lots. So it's kind of really useful on the go. So let's have a look at the quality of this. I'll just say it's leather, so, okay. Looks good, looks nice. There it is. So this is a case that the actual device should I assume slide into, like so. And you can clip that onto there and attach it onto your key ring or onto your keys. Really nice, really like that, that's quite, that's quite a good touch. Okay, so that's a leather case. Next up, we've got this, which are some um, extra nibs. So six extra nibs and some of these these rubber bands. Okay, so I, right, the rubber band, I wondered what the rubber band's for. So around the actual ruler set here, there is a, 
on this wheel that obviously does the measuring on there there's actually a rubber ring so you must i wonder if that wears down potentially or gets mucky i'm not sure it came with one spare but there's an extra four in that one i won't open this i'll keep them them keep them safe in that box and another six nibs in there as well which is really good um these two are two stands by the looks of it so we've got two pen stands so we've got two pen stands that one there and we've also got this one here the difference being i believe that this one has got 12 nibs in it but they're all all like a black this one is a multicolor so we've got multiple colors on the back of there see all the colored nibs in there too so all the different colors in that one and that's just a nice rubber footing where that pops off you got all the spare standard black or dark gray ones there so they're the two cases and i think the pen just sits in them it does so that is now everything unboxed from the premium combo set everything that's included looking good first impressions the build quality exceptional really nice looks really really nice um some real thought gone into it in terms of in terms of a design perspective really liking that i'm really liking the leather case it's a really nice touch um, so you can carry it around with you right nice and easily but also protects it as well which is great from a value for money perspective from that premium combo obviously you get tons of accessories included all the extra the spare nibs um spare rubber rings as well for the actual uh, measuring tool really really good so what i'll do is have a real quick guide of the quick start guide um just understand what i need to do to get it set up then we'll come back and get this set up and do some basic measuring with it okay so i have a real quick read of the quick start guide um ironic um, but anyway so um it goes through here how to set it up uh, there's an application you can use as well to obviously connect the device to, to send your measurements to which is called the mezor app mezor app m-e-a-z-o-r uh, available on ios and android which is great um so first things first is actually turning it on so it goes through here in terms of basic usage really uh, how to get started with it the do's and don'ts in there around keeping it at a certain angle when measuring um, so yeah there's tons to learn on there okay so first of all the actual ruler as i mentioned really really cool i love the concept of it great idea it's one of those things that it's like why didn't it exist before so really really good um, it's got the laser which is just situated under there and then, then the rolling mechanism for actually measuring uh, from point to point with a laser and it mentions like when measuring a straight line for example keeping it upright nice and straight when measuring things like that and that's covered in this guide i think you probably a bit of a learning curve using it because you can use it around curves uh, around rounded edges and there's all kinds of stuff in here so a little bit of a learning curve um, it does things like scaling directly actually on here which is great so let's just get started i'll actually turn this on for the first time and to do that there are actually two buttons uh, on either side and it says to press both buttons to turn on the device okay so press both buttons I, it's not coming on for some reason uh, maybe the battery is too low which i've not charged it yet so there is a screen on the front that comes through this plastic area or there should be but nothing's appearing so what i'll do is actually charge it first and it does mention here what you've got to do to charge it is actually take this metal kind of ring off almost uh, and then there's a usb type c cable just at the top there i'll show you that camera as well so the charging port there so what i'll do is i've just got a battery pack here i'll use the included usb cable give it a quick charge and then we'll come back and do the setup i thought there might have been a little bit of charging it uh, just to get things going but there's not so let me just put it into charge and just show you though and let's just see if we get like a charging screen uh, when i do that so I'll plug it into the top straight into the top like so so we've got an orange led uh, indicator there let me just press the buttons now right so it has come on now so can see hopefully on the screen there that it has come on so what i'll do is i, I won't start using it yet because i want to use it without the wire so i'll get some charge into it first um, and then we'll actually give it a go okay we're fully charged now with the neo ruler ready to go so fully charged up just took a few hours that's all and um, so it's ready to go now so as we mentioned before we've got the two buttons on the side so I press and hold them Got a little bit of haptic feedback and you can hopefully see the screen is on there so what we'll do um i've got a little project that we're starting inside it's a renovation of a bedroom and uh, we will be doing tons of uh, kind of renovation and building we're doing some wardrobes a desk other stuff in there so measuring in there is going to be really important taking measurements so we'll use that as a proper kind of test but first of all i'll just show it in here just kind of the concept of it how it's supposed to work 
uh, make sure it does work, make sure I can use it, stuff like that. So I'll just get another camera going just for a bit of a different angle, a bit of a close-up angle, and we'll just measure some stuff on the desk here first. Okay, so we've got the camera up here, we've got the camera over here as well, just get a close-up. So let me just kind of move this stuff out of the way. We'll just start with the, uh, just the main section of the ruler to start with. So, the device is now on, so if I press these double buttons now, I've got the ruler showing on the front of there. Just hold that up to that one as well. Um, so on the ruler setting now. So, if I roll through that, it actually rolls through the different, um, it rolls through the device onto what you can do. So I've got ruler scale, customize scale, settings, or ruler. That's what's going on there currently. So I'll to this camera. Okay, so it's a case of using the actual roller element. You can roll through the different stuff and you use the buttons on the side to jump into those different sections. So if I go back to the ruler, press on that button there, that then takes me into here. So I've got there the actual measurement. I've got the what I want to use. So it's millimeter there at the moment. I can go to centimeter, meter, inch, foot, feet, millimeter. So we'll go on millimeter. We'll try that out. So go down to the measurement section there. Press on the button. And now you can see I've got the laser pointing down there. So I'm going to start off just there. Hopefully if bring it a bit closer to the camera you should be able to see the actual laser there so I'm going to start there and it is providing a lot of haptic feedback at the moment which is great actually in the hand and then we're going to measure across there to the edge of the table and it's got 287 millimeters and do exactly the same again so we'll start right on the edge of this table like that then we'll so what's great actually you can go back and it goes back through the actual the measurement so we'll go all the way to the end i got 499 millimeters so this is great for kind of measuring anything really obviously i've got a desk here that i'm measuring i've got a small hard drive here so if i just get back to zero drop it onto here and start rolling I then got the measurement of there. So I'll do that again. So it literally does just testing it a little bit there. I'll try to get a couple of close ups, but as soon as you pop it down and start moving that wheel, is that is exactly when it measures it. So I guess you've got to be quite careful, really. Uh, what you can do is so if you roll it, you get to a point exactly. If you hold for a minute, it'll then hold the measurement. What you can also do, I've just noticed, if you go there and press the button on the side, that'll stop measuring as well. So if it's quite tricky getting a certain measurement, if you do hold it still, it'll stop measuring, but you can also press the button on the side to manually stop measuring. What is I'm finding quite difficult, not difficult, sorry, but could be quite difficult, maybe in certain situations, is keeping hold of it and accurately getting the measurement. Um, so I guess that's where the big kind of holder comes in. So if I take that small one off, and pop this one on. Yes. So what that's going to do is create tons more control. So you've you've got the button still at the bottom down there, but that's much easier to control with that bigger handle. You can almost do it like like that as well, uh, which is good. It could be quite difficult, kind of pivoting or making those small movements if you're only using the small handle. So that's really, really good actually, I like that. And you could probably, might be easier to get into kind of tougher spaces or tighter spaces with the longer one, because you're not having to put your hand in as well. You could hold on to the end of it like that with a thumb and, um, and do it that way. Okay, so we've got the uh, Miso application. So I'm gonna set up the device in there as well, just to show you that quickly. So I'm just recording the screen at the moment. So in the actual, on the actual device, I'm gonna go into the settings. So down into, settings on my screen now hopefully you can see i'm going to click connect and they can see we've got the neo ruler go let me just click through into there so any you have got things you can adjust in the application which is great so the rotation which is horizontal or vertical which hand you're using um i think you can maybe they've got the advanced setting as well uh, so this is around calibrating so you can do a calibration directly in the application there um, you can also set the sleep mode so when what how long after not using it, it goes into sleep mode which is probably really good from a battery perspective 
Uh, you can also change the name there if you just press obviously the edit button. Uh, you can see that we've got the Neo Ruler Go, Digital Rolling Ruler, and what firmware that is on at the moment. So in the application, if I go to this project, you can see I've got the Bluetooth symbol there, which is my device. And they're going to use it to measure. So if I press on the measure button, Okay, and we've got the ability now to import it there. So if I import that, you hopefully see I've got a line there. So that's kind of only really showing a very, very basic example. So let me just do a new measure, like so, and import that. You see here we've got different things we can do in the application in terms of what you measure in different room types. Uh, but the ability just to do a simple line measurement, like so, and then port it into here. So the ability to just do a simple line measurement, so if I do that again, stop there, that should then bring the line into there, and you can imagine they're doing different measurements, etc., etc. in the project, you can then build up an idea of what you're measuring inside the app. So what I think I'll do now is take the uh, Neo Ruler Go, we'll go into the bedroom I mentioned, and do some measurements, uh, I need to do some measurements for some wardrobes, I need to measure the space for the doors that I'm ordering, I also need to uh, measure one of the walls to see how long it, how long the stretch of wall is because I'm going to install some worktop across there. So rather than using a tape measure, or maybe I will use a tape measure just to compare the accuracy, but I'll use this Neo Ruler Go to get all the measurements I need uh, for that project inside. Uh, so we'll use that as kind of our first project, first impressions, just to see how it gets on in there. So let's head inside and uh, do some measuring. Okay, all done now with the Neo Ruler Go from Holo Design. Super impressed with this product, really, really well built, thought out, integrations are all there, really great stuff. Super flexible in terms of being able to measure different kind of surfaces, different kind of shapes, etc., etc. Really, really good, really well thought out. Obviously, there's different products out there for doing different measuring, from the traditional tape measure to the laser measure, all kinds of things going on, and this is a great idea in terms of the future of measuring. Some great accessories that came with the actual Neo Ruler itself, adding some functionality along the way. You've got the pen, the different holders, the key ring, the lever case that came with the Pro Set. Really, really good. Obviously, the measuring tool on its own is just is brilliant, but then the added accessories just take it up another level. So if you're looking at it and want to get the most out of the ruler, I would recommend that set if you can stretch that far with a little bit more money. Obviously, outlay for the product itself. Hopefully you liked the video or found it informative at least. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down, give it a dislike. Let me know in the comment section why. Any questions about the product, any questions about the video, any questions at all, please drop that in the comment section. I will reply to all questions and comments. I'll drop some links below in the description so you can pick this up yourself if you're looking at it. And if you want to follow the Houston DIY channel for more product reviews, tech reviews, giveaways, and much, much more, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.